Hello, my name is Justin Wilcox. I am with the band Assange here. We're getting interviewed post our uh, show at Weedstock 2017. Uh, Carson's going to ask him some questions. Ask us some questions now. Well, that was a that was a really good intro. I'm not even going to do an intro because you just you got it for me. So then, since like we talked about, this is a post Weedstock interview. So how are you guys feeling after your show you just played? Uh, really good. Um, Brandon just got a new amp, which makes a huge difference in, in uh, our sound. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good set. PA died halfway through one of my favorite songs, but that's, yeah. that's okay. I mean, I can't win them all. Yeah. We have to be prepared for it because we use so many backing tracks. Yeah. Because like some of that stuff's crucial to the songs because there's like three or four guitar parts going half the time, and he's only one guy, so he yeah. can't play all of them. And the part that died during that one song is like the it's most. The, crucial it's, part. it's the speech yeah. at the beginning. He yeah. says, "I need your help," and it echoes a few times. Then the breakdown starts. So it's like, it gives it its impact, but we just didn't have it that time. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, from the way it sounded, you guys picked up from it pretty well. But uh, a couple things about you guys. When did you start becoming a band? That is, that's a complicated yeah, question. Yeah, it's yeah that's a very actually. complicated yeah, question. Very because if you want to start, like, when we first had the idea, sure. they started getting together in, like, 2011. Okay. And then I joined in like 2012 ish, yeah. and then it slowly kind of put itself together over time. Right? Okay. Yeah. Just smashed. And uh, from what I understand, Jerry, you record your own music, you produce music. Do you do that with a or the stuff that you've learned as far as from a recording standpoint? How do you implement that in a music? Um, well, like Justin was saying, um, with a we have a lot of the backing tracks for a lot of those really like crucial parts. Um, so that was kind of my job to kind of figure out, you know, what parts are the backing track and, you know, how to set it up. Um, I went to school in Nashville and I used most of my knowledge from that just to kind of like further the band and uh, uh, use it towards recording demos and all that stuff. But. So did that, using all the backing uh, recordings, did that change your guys' sound? Did it used to be completely different before you brought that to the table? Or? Oh yeah. we. Uh, well, I didn't even have a drum set when I joined this band. Oh, I just right, kind yeah. of jumped in. That's the reason why we've been a band for seven years and we're just really starting to get out there. Um, forgot where I was going with that, but yeah, that's uh, that's that. The whole okay. the um, whole band, it's been a learning process. Yeah. You know, literally, I mean, like we just when we progressed. First, not to cut him off. When we first got when we first got started, it was mostly like I would bring in a bunch of gorilla equipment and my limited experience being self-taught producing music and like, oh, I want to do this for us, and then I think he might be better than me now, but, you know, who knows. So we would just be sitting there with a laptop and a rock band mic in front of a crummy $50 amp recording stuff, and eventually we're like, it's probably better to just structure things in a program than you do it anywhere else. Okay. And uh, as far as the future of Assange, where do you guys see yourself going as a band? Um, this is our last show with Justin. So, sadly to say, but he... Oh, did you get kicked out? What'd you do? I'm moving. Oh, okay. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. Many adventures ahead of him, though. Yeah. Yeah, very. Probably still in spiritually, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he'll always be a part of the oh, band. Oh, yeah, he's always going to be family. You know, but um, we're working on an album. We have been this whole year. Uh, we've had a lot of technical difficulties, a lot of setbacks, but... Yeah. Um, Random amp dying on us. Yeah, we had an amp die. Yeah, we had two blue. computers die. Yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's just been crazy but uh we have vocalists as well um that we're bringing on um zach elam he'll be doing most of the cleans and then our friend um johnny, johnny merriman merriman yeah johnny merriman he'll be doing the heavier vocals for us yeah. but uh, that'll be later this year first of next year sometime around there um okay. we want to bring them up to speed so they're they feel a part of yeah. the band as much as you know we okay. do and well, that's a segue into uh this i guess this is the plug portion of the interview so where can we reach you guys um, we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. We do have a SoundCloud. I think it's actually my SoundCloud, yeah. but we have some. Probably gonna shut down soon. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we, we do have a Bandcamp with um, one single on it that we released a while ago. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in that. All right. Well, if that's all you guys have, uh, this has been an interview with Assange. Be sure to check them out on everything that's gonna appear on this screen. And um, yeah, if you guys want to say bye, and we'll cut this off.